Good morning, friends. I'm Calvin Price, the pastor of Oak Hill Baptist Church in Meridian, Mississippi, and I want to thank you for joining me this morning for a nugget out of God's Word. This morning, I want to turn your attention away from all of the negativity that we have surrounding us every day. I want to turn your focus to something positive. I want you to think about enjoying life, experiencing joy in life. When we think about that today, we have come to a place where we've been able to reassess things and reevaluate what is of greatest importance to us. And the thing that should be of the greatest importance to us should be the gift that God has given us. First, life. Secondly, our relationship to others. But most important is our relationship to Him. And so as we look at these things, the writer of of Ecclesiastes actually uses the word vanity regularly through the book. The book progresses and it shares about a lot of different things that you experience in life. Matter of fact, the writer of Ecclesiastes in chapter 3 in verses 1 through 8 talks about the seasons of life and that everything under the sun has a purpose and a time to take place. And so that is true. And we should realize that the the time that we have is a gift from God, and we should use it wisely. I don't think the saddest thing in the world is the amount of time that we have or may not have. I think the saddest thing that we can face is to get to the end of that time and realize that we never truly valued that time, that we never really lived our life. And so the writer of Ecclesiastes, he says there's a time to be born and a time to die. But he also says there's a time to laugh and a time to cry. And so when we think about all that he has said in those first eight verses, he has shared about the cycles of life. And every cycle of life has its beauty, its gifts that we experience as we move into different phases. My wife and I was married several years ago. We were married young, and we've had a blessed life together this far. But then we had children. Our lives changed. Our children grew up, and now they have children. Our lives changed again. And so we go through changes in life, and we have to learn how to value those changes and see the gifts that God has given us during those times. One of the most beautiful verses to me is uh, chapter 3 and verse 11a in the book of Ecclesiastes. It says this, He has made everything beautiful in its time. And so there's beauty in everything. And the beauty is often overlooked. And you and I, friends, have to train ourselves, our minds, and our hearts to focus on the beauty in the things that we experience. We will see beauty in what we truly desire to see beauty in. If we're not looking for beauty, then we won't see it. I know that looking for beauty is something that that can uplift you. It is something that can strengthen you. It is something that can uh, brighten the course of your day. There's beauty in everything. Last night, we had severe thunderstorms. This morning, we awoke to sunshine. So there's beauty in everything. Behind every rainstorm comes the sun and be- And behind every uh, night comes the day. And so remember, there's beauty in every aspect of life, and we have to learn to value it. I want to challenge you today to value time as a gift. You don't know how much time you have, but how you spend it is important. Let the ones that you love know that you love them. Let them know that you appreciate them value their contributions into your life because it is important. And in this time and season, they are contributing to you and you can also contribute to them. Friends, today I want you to know that the Lord is a contributor in our lives. He has given us the time and he has given us the joy and he has given us his grace. And so as a reminder of that, please value what he has given you. I hope today you will be blessed in some special way. Please know this, my friends, that the Lord Jesus loves you, and I love you too. Let us pray together. Father, I pray that we will value time and we will understand the gifts that you have given us, the gifts of relationships, the gifts of laughter, the gifts of joy with one another. And I ask you to bring that to the forefront of our minds and thoughts today so that we can look at life and value 
and treasure its gifts that it gives to us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, my friends. Until we meet again.